Howdy y'all, super fast. I had a couple emails come in about the lesson study project. And when I went into the shell, there is conflicting information there. So I want to clarify. Uh, you do have to meet synchronously with your team in weeks four and five. All right, and I know that that FAQ on there, which needs to be updated, sorry, uh, that FAQ says you don't, but you do. Conversely, it also says that you're supposed to meet in week six, and I'm saying that meeting in week six is optional. Uh, from what it says on that FAQ also, it is very unclear are you supposed to be working on the same lesson or can you do different ones? Okay, this particular activity has gone through a thousand different iterations. And here is how I'm presenting it to you. If we were all working at the same grade level in the same town and we met in the same place on a regular basis, physically, I would say yes, I'm going to put you in very small groups so that you all can actually design the same lesson and then teach the same lesson making different modifications. Here's the reality. We don't. We're all over the place and we've got people in this grade and that grade and in this situation and in that situation. So you're grouped together to be able to give really meaningful feedback to each other if you want to work off the same core lesson, if that happens to work for you guys, that is fabulous. But I don't want to handcuff you and force you to work on a project that may not be authentically useful or meaningful for you. That's why the modification is made. So that all the effort you put into this lesson really putting your philosophy of DI into place and role modeling it. I want it to be as meaningful for you as humanly possible. So I'm not going to force you to work on something that may serve your class group, but doesn't serve you in the real world. That's not fair. We're grownups and I respect your time. So please know that is why there's nebulous information, but I am blatantly making the call on that. You don't have to work on the same lesson. The more that you can, it will make all of your lives easier, but you don't have to. You do have to meet in weeks four and five to communicate and collaborate, to get feedback, to share what you're thinking. If you like to meet in week six to do a little uh, film festival and share each other's videos, that's wonderful but you don't have to it's not mandatory i was asked how do you set up your online meeting you guys decide as a group when you can meet once in week four once in week five if you do want to meet more than that it's cool but once you get those times and dates set email me and I will give you the URL for an Adobe room and I will log on to turn on the audio for you. You guys don't have Adobe Connect accounts, only professors do. Now, if you are very good with Skype or something else or WebEx, you have your own account, I will approve the use of any other virtual communication tool. But since most people don't, Okay, it is what it is. Now, I did also get a message, and just let me throw it out there, from someone who isn't teaching right now and or someone who hasn't been in the classroom for a long time. In that situation, you have a couple different options. One is to partner directly one-on-one -on -one with someone who's doing something that either you did teach that age group or you want to teach that age group. And then you'll work on that lesson together. And then when you do your demo, you'll do it for that lesson. Or if you're not teaching now, what you could do is focus in on a volunteer situation where you would be leading a class. It could be for adults. It could be for kids. It could be for Sunday school. It could be anything of that sort. Remember, you're not doing this with real students. 
you're either doing it online with your peers from this class, which is totally cool. Just got to make it really, really real. So you're working in the online environment or you're getting some friends from your school or your neighbors or if you want to get your neighbor kids to be cool and just make sure you shoot from the back of the head, get their parents permission. You still need permission. Just no identifiable information, no faces of children. All right. I hope that helps. I'm an email away. And again, when you have a question, A, it's always cool to email me, but B, I want you to recognize that my philosophy is I want to make sure the learning serves you. So if there's something that you're like, mm, 99.99999% of the time, you will be correct if you think it through and go, well, what would be more meaningful to do something purely theoretical or to do something I can authentically use? Okay. Oh, it's Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Don't forget, it's Wednesday.